All right, I'm just going to walk up to the stone again. I've got a feeling people are in the front of the house. There's a bell hanging from the tree. to do is put my camera on the font there and then sit on the stone quickly so I'm gonna sit on the stone and then if someone does come I'll just say I'm in a caravan site right wait a minute to sit on the stone of destiny which all the kings and queens Scottish kings and that have sat on including David the first of Scotland Yeah, that's a schoon stone, the stone of destiny, sat on by Elizabeth I as well, I believe. Well, I didn't really video it properly the other day. A replica of the stone upon which the kings of Scots were crowned on Moot Hill until 1296 when Edward I took the stone to Westminster Abbey. This is a replica but um, it feels it feels like a real one. So that's what I wanted to do really. It's just come up and see the stone and then go up to the cross. There's the abbey, the chapel, the small chapel which was built much later, well a couple hundred years ago. I don't think anyone's going to object to me just coming up, I paid my ticket the other day. Douglas Ferns. Famous man, there's lots of books been written about him and publishing. So there comes my friends, look. It comes, they scare me actually, look. There's three of them. It's a white one, I haven't seen him before. Oh, friends! Hi, yeah. Come on, my little dinosaurs. Oh, okay, I'm gonna. I don't want to be attacked, so they've got big long beaks. I'll just pick up a stick. <coughs> just in case they get funny. Because that white one started moving quite quick then. They do follow you. Right, through there you've got the cemetery. They're like guards. See? They're still following me. They think I've got food. You think I've got food, don't you? It's the white one that scares me the most. Right. <sighs> Through 
through that archway is that very ancient cross. Most churches have got them. And see, they'll, fo they'll follow me until I leave. They're like guards, they are. And there's the palace again, back there. That Because really the Murrayment family only really got it by chance. I don't really know who had it. It was the church, wasn't it? it belonged to the church. <sighs> then it was handed over to them. I've got all the history. I've got the booklet and everything. Are they coming? Ah, yes. It's quite new, doesn't it, really? It's like it was built last week. They're not following me now. What's that? Oh, that's the... Um... heraldry coat of arms or something like that. Uh, yeah. So they walk under the ancient arch which has been repaired. To the old stone again. There it is. The old stone. The whole of this site is actually um, the old part. This is the old part. Of course, I've got to go to the Roslyn Chapel yet. Yeah, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Oh, right, everyone. That's enough of that. Over and out. <sighs> yeah, because I did all that the other day. We walked right down through there and round. I don't think I've got time now. Don't know what time is it? No, I better get back. I might do that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a bit creepy, isn't it? That bit's a bit creepy. I think there was a prison part over there as well. Uh, yeah, it's completely different in the day. There's other people. Because there is something. 
Well, it's medieval, isn't it? It's a feeling. I can, I can feel it. I feel it. It's sat on the stone. They've, they're passing into me. They've asked me to come here. And I have, because I'm just passing on the history. That's why I'm here. Passing on the history, everyone. I feel that oldness. You can feel it. You can feel it. It's powerful. Yeah, I'd like to have come out for a longer walk. I mean, it took me several hours to walk all the way around, you know, during the daytime. I often come back to the place I came to first when I've been to a place. There's something about that first impression and that last impression. It's like going into the past, that bit. It's a little bit creepy, that. Going into the darkness, going right back. It's almost like a face looking at me there, look. A nose and two eyes and teeth. That's almost a face, look. That is creepy. Oh! A little shudder could have me spine in. But I'm not really scared as such because of my ancestors. But of course the thing is, a lot went on in them days. They didn't they killed people off if they felt like it. Peacocks left me alone tonight, didn't they? They're not all even calling out. Right, and back to work. Down through the avenue of yews. And of course, yews keep out the evil spirits, you see. And keep them in as well. Oh! Look at them two little ponies in, made me jump then, look. Come on. Come on. You look like Bran as a pony. Yes you do. You look like Bran. And you're a pony. Yeah. Hey. You're like Bran. Who's metamorphosized into a pony. Hello. Hello Bran. You're a pony now. Are you? Oh you're lovely. Here comes Donk Donk, and I know they can bite, so I'm very wary of animals. I don't want a nasty big bite off you. And I've got no sweeties. Look at that. Look at that pony. It looks like a brown. Ah, you look like a brown. Yes, you do. got lovely eyes, haven't you? You've got fleas. Yes, you have. Yes, you have! <laughs> <laughs> a little brown nut. <laughs> Looks like a little brown. Bye! Bye, horsey! Bye, small horsey! Bye bye! Bye bye! You remind me of Bram. Yes, you do. We'll see.
Right, where are we? Back through the avenue of yews. Of course this landscape could have, could have changed a lot, they wouldn't, none of this could have been here when they were here, none of these trees could have been here, it might have been um, different tracks, different roads, all sorts. This could have been bog and marsh, wouldn't have been like a lawn, like it looks now, look. Going through these to protect you from evil. If you walk through the avenue of the yews, they keep the evil out and they keep it in. Now letting me pass all the tales and stories you could make up with your imagination, couldn't you? stories you could tell. Things like the stone here could have come from a quarry see miles away. Don't necessarily mean it's local. That's the thing. Right then. Oh there's a peacock. He has come over to see me off. Look. There he is. I'm just getting close. He's come down the, he's flown down for, to say goodbye. He knows I'm going. It's a pheasant. It's a bit like a peacock in it, but there is a big one. That's a big male peacock in it. There. Meow. 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 Bye then, the symbol of schoon. The peacock is the symbol. Right, I don't know if I should come out tomorrow or not. I hate saying goodbyes. It's... I hate it when people leave the campsite as well. You sort of see them and then when they leave, then you sort of met people and they go all the time. It's sort of like a it's like a train station, it's people coming and going. Campsites are. People coming and going. You see them setting up the camp. Eager to get everything up and in place. And the same when they leave, taking everything down. It's almost like a, a menu people follow for doing things, like they've obviously watched other people. Right, over and out, that'll do for me rambling. <laughs>